stop meeting like this. And then I'll buy the fifth time, it's just awkward, isn't it? Hello and welcome to sunny Nottinghamshire. I'm just stomping along from what was the Mansfield Colliery. There's nothing left there, closed in 1988 and it's just an industrial estate. But the same can't be said for Clipston Colliery, which is only a mile and a half, two miles maybe, so it's not a long walk, but it looks incredible. Opened in 1922 and it closed in 2003, which is obviously pretty recent for a, for a Nottinghamshire coal mine. So there's a lot left. So I'm going to get the drone up and uh, see what footage I can get. Because I've seen it, but only from a distance, because it kind of dominates the, the, the skyline. So when you're around Nottinghamshire, you tend to be able to see the giant headstocks. But I've never actually been, you know, right up close to it. So I'm quite excited about that, actually. And the fact that it's a nice day is always a bonus, isn't it? I'm walking along the Mansfield branch at the minute between the two collieries, but there's lots of different lines that come off it. And I'll level with you, it's quite confusing because Nottinghamshire had 30 coal mines, now it's got none, but it had 30 coal mines. And so you've got all those coal mines, all those coal branches. And you had the Great Central, you had the, the Lincolnshire, Derbyshire, East Coast Railway, you had the Midland Railway, all chucking in their branch lines to try and get connected to these pits. So the I mean, even studying the maps, honestly, last night I was looking at maps and I'm still confused. I know that the line I'm on, it's a pathway, but then it disappears and it kind of goes whoop, which obviously the railway wouldn't do, but that joins another branch, comes across it, and the pathway does that when the continuation of this line goes into the hedges. So I'm hoping if I can get through into those hedges that I might actually find some stuff, you know, some sleepers or, or signals or, or whatever, you know, old, old structures. That's what I'm hoping. That's if I don't get lost and end up, you know, at Rutherford Colliery, I think, thinking this doesn't look like Clipston. So I'm just walking, I've only just spotted that. There's a bridge there, look. If I can look down and see what's kicking about. Is there a road down there? there might be a road down there. A uh, little, little path. Become quite a cutting now, quite a deep cutting as you can see. It's quite high up that side. It's even higher up that side there. I'm assuming this section would have um, would have closed in '88. You know when they closed um, Mansfield Picks. Obviously, no reason for it to be open. So it's had a bit longer to rot away. So I'm guessing you know I'm less likely to find stuff here. Um, I'm also really wary, you know of going off the beaten track because there's so many coal mines around here. You know, they've all got mine shafts, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? And I know it sounds silly because, you know, they should be sort of all covered up, but they discovered one in Newton, um, which is not, not not that far from here recently. And all it was, it was in, it was, it was basically in some woods and it was, you know, mine shaft with basically it had been covered up, like, you know, centuries, well, maybe a century ago or whatever. They'd um, put one or two pieces of track over it and then some wood. That's it. You know, so wood rots, don't it? So I'm assuming I'm coming up to an infield bridge here because the obviously the railway goes up. Can you put the engine in first gear, please? It might well be joining the other branch that went down to Rufford Colliery because this line would have gone underneath that. So I'm guessing it's going up and then it's going to go left. But I'm going to try and then get down the other side and see what I can't find. Hopefully not any mine shafts. Looks like there's a little bit of remains there. Either that or it's a bench. Oh, hang on. There's a board. Hopefully this will tell me uh, everything I need to know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, so that goes off to Clipston. Um, that follows another branch. But down here is the continuation of the line we've been walking on. So I'm going to come down here and get on this instead. As you can see, it's not quite as uh, well sort of tarmacked. So I was reading a bit about Clipston Colliery, as I do, you know, before I come and, and do these things. Opened in 1922, and by the 30s, they were dishing out 4,000 tonnes a day of coal. Um, 
and then in 1986 they did a million tons of coal in a year and I actually before I started talking then actually went on the phone to double check that because that's insanity a million tons you think what's a ton a family sized car maybe just chuck a million just chuck a million cars out mate incredible really down another cut in then it's just nothing really remaining at the minute but like I say, the actual the actual headstocks themselves are absolutely incredible to see. So the deepest it went was 920 meters, 920 meters down. Oh, man, you've got to be brave in here to be going 920 meters down underground. And they put these headstocks in in the 1950s when they when they dropped it that far down. As I do, you know, when I, I look at these things, I, I look at the, you know, if there was a disaster or whatever, there didn't seem to be, you know, like a huge disaster that killed loads and loads of people in one go, but still a lot of deaths in, in Clipston Colliery. And um, I think you kind of think about, you know, those deaths in collieries, maybe, you know, in Victorian times or whatever, obviously they didn't have the health and safety and all that sort of stuff. Maybe they didn't have the tech um, to have it as safe as possible, but... These deaths at Clipston, you know, these are in the late 80s. These are, you know, in my lifetime, lads going underground and then, you know, the, the roofs collapsing and um, being crushed by by wagons and stuff. It's, it's, it's tragic, it really is. So there's loads going on. I mean, it's, that's, a, that's a road now, but I don't even know if that wasn't... A railway at some point. So I've just come down. This is a road, but when you look at the bridge, they've got spaces for people to, you know, clamber into. I guess when a train comes past. So I'm assuming this must have been a railway here at some point, heading on off. Yeah, I mean this is the one that this this would have been the line that went off to Rufford then. Rufford Colliery. And there's the underneath of the bridge there. All right, better get it back up there now. I found some ballast now. You can hear that. So at its height, this pit, when it was dishing out, you know, a million tons of coal, employed 1,300 lads um, from the local area. 920 feet underground, risking your life every day. What a way to make a living. Dolly Parton's got nothing on that, I'm sorry. Here we go, look. It's a bit of ballast down now. It's starting to feel a bit more like a railway now. It's nice hearing the birds chirping away as well. It's a nice day. So you see here, I'm, I'm on. It's dropping off the side there now, so I'm quite high up. Following that, and I've just spotted through here, there's even more ballast down there. So many different lines all, all you know, interchanging. It's funny how your life changes, isn't it? Like a sunny day like this, normally, you know, you'd be like, oh mate, let's get, you know, get the shirt off, get a suntan, or find a beer garden. I'm like, now, this is railway walk, obviously. Oh, hang on, here we go, right, the great reveal. Right, I've clambered into a hedge. Can you see through? Probably not that well, actually. Let me try and get a better angle. I've seen the headstocks. The view's actually getting worse now. We're getting higher and higher and higher and higher. Keep going, keep going. I spotted the headstocks, but you see that line there is getting closer as well. I think we're coming up to some kind of junction. Right, I'm going to clamber down. There's a sleeper. I'm going to get down on this lower line now so I can show you the headstock. Just discarded. Loads of ballast. Oh, hang on, these sleepers are still in the ground. Yeah, these are still in the ground. If I come over here, again, it drops off that side as well. There again, sleeper in the ground. Hopefully. Oh, hang on, they disappeared again. I reckon they're on the wind up. Literally. Let's find 
another sleeper. There's loads. You know, they're hella expensive in B&Q. Not sure I want to be walking back with one under each arm there, to be honest. I'm going to stick on this lower line now because I'm finding more stuff here. Um, these are probably sidings to be fair because we, we are right near right near the colliery site now. So you know these 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 tracks may well have, have been in place up until the you know 2000s. Goodness me, it's still overgrown though. And uh, more sleepers in place. Let me come up here and see if I can't get a view of these headstocks for you guys. Oh well, that one's just chopped up. Here we go, I'm assuming these are the spoil heaps I'm walking up now. You know, I said I shouldn't go off the beaten track because I'll fall down a mine shaft. I'm clearly not listening to myself. I'll just throw my arm up in the air. <laughs> now I can't see if you can see it. Well, I'm just going to give up and get get myself there, I think. This is all part of the teasing. You know, on those game shows, reality shows, where they announce the winner, like on the X Factor or, or something, and the winner is... And then about 20 minutes. It's a bit like that, isn't it? I'm trying to find these headstocks. It's all just got got a bit I'm a celebrity now um, loads of disused um, sleepers just lying around there but I'm gonna come back up onto this line because it's a little bit easier to navigate hoping well because we're basically coming up to a junction you know there might be some signals and stuff in the vicinity because um, there is quite a lot of stuff left over so here we go concrete sleepers I suggest they're newer Nice to be out in the sun again as well. Hopefully you're not getting too much glare from that. So if I look here, you got that line went off there. That's where we were walking before it became like a wilderness. That's the one we've been walking from Mansfield. And there's another one coming in here as well. So you got three lines coming in. You can hear the uh, ballast is getting thicker and thicker. It's actually not that easy to walk on that. I should be turning left in a minute, hopefully, because then that'll take me, because the collier is that side, so I'm hoping it's going to swing me around and I'm not just going to walk past it and I've missed the, uh, I've missed the branch off. Because this carries on and um, it will eventually join up with the High Marnham Test Track, which was the uh, Lincolnshire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway serve pits in, in Ollerton, Shirebrook and places like that. It, um, now it's a test track next to the old High Marnham power station. That was another thing Nottinghamshire had. Tons and tons of power stations. They've got rid of all of them and all. Just to make the country dependent on other nations, which is, you know, not overly wise in my opinion. There's more sleepers lying around. We've had a fire by the look of it. Okay. This is a Sherwood Forest. I'm going to follow this round because this is where this is the direction I want to be going in. It is a bit overgrown, but I think I've spotted something. I hadn't. Apologise for the glare, guys. I thought I'd seen. Um, some uh, signalling, but it was a tree. It was a tree and a, a smashed up television. Okay, Let's see where this goes now. Then got loads of sleepers down there. Look, 
loads of sleepers all just discarded, just tossed away. Okay, so I'm following the line now. I'll do that so you're not getting glare. I'm following the line behind me towards Clipston Colliery. The one I was on that I've come off, that is what goes all the way down to the high mining test track. Is a, if I hadn't have turned off, I would have just been walking and walking and walking until I saw you know, a train, um, which would have been less than ideal. Here we go. Look at the size of them. They're listed, thankfully, so you can't get rid of them. Unbelievable. They do dominate the skyline around these parts. The people that owned them, I think it's Welbeck something, not Danny Welbeck, the footballer, but Welbeck um, Coal or something, I don't know, but anyway, that company, they owned the headstocks and the land. And in 2014, they were put forward a proposal to knock them down, which is ridiculous. I understand getting rid of history like that, but luckily there was a, a group of people got organized um, preservation team and and kind of knocked that out of the park thankfully so at the minute they're talking about turning it into a, a multi-purpose um, leisure venue which could be cool you know if I was if I was training or if I was playing a bit of five-a-side football I'd happily play it underneath some headstocks it's just cool isn't it looks like another line down there going underneath us you see like like a handful of sleepers and stuff just chucked down by the side I think like, why would you just leave a handful? Either leave all the sleepers or take them all. There always seems to be on these railway walks. Like just some just, oh, I can't bother to take that one. That's too heavy, that one. I'll take the other 400. So here's the end of the line. Ooh. You can see loads of people have um, come mountain biking down here. Wow. I mean, the smashed windows and stuff are a bit grim, aren't they? But, you know, it's to be expected, unfortunately. If there's a window, the kid's gonna stick a rock through it. You can see there's little bits of uh, coal just left laying around. There's the railway line back. And in terms of this area, like, you wouldn't know there was a railway here, would you? But obviously all the lines were coming around these parts. And that's all that's left. I mean, it's a lot, it's amazing. But there was um, a lot more colliery buildings here and stuff, but they knocked all them down. It appears to have found the lake, vertebral trainers. Apologize for the wind. I realize I haven't apologized for the wind yet in this video. I've got to keep things uniform, haven't I? Spoil heaps. You see that there? Maybe there as well. It's so imposing, isn't it? Bang. Imagine living in one of those houses as well, just opposite here. Just wake up every morning, just open your curtains to that behemoth. It's getting really windy now. I want whoever whoever mows that, I want their lawnmower because it's a darn sight better than mine. Wow. There's a dog in there yapping away. Doesn't sound like it'd be a particularly big security dog, but I'm not seeing it.
Cheers for tuning in folks. Stomping back now to my car. Parked outside what was Mansfield Colliery, closed 1988. And obviously we've just been to Clipston Colliery, closed in 2003, but it's an amazing structure, isn't it? It is incredible, like this just massive behemoth that just sort of, just completely shadows everything around it. Incredible. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, please. Like, subscribe, comment, the usual drill. Take it easy.